despise the day of small things. Everything begins that way. We all must start to grow before we walk. Sunrise comes before noonday. Acknowledge God in the beginning. Spend some time alone with God and pray. Don't despise the day of small things. Everything begins that way. my friend tell me what do you see God sees things as a one day be yes God sees things quite differently that's why we should see things as God sees don't despise the day of small things Everything begins that way. We must all start to crawl before we walk. Sunrise always comes before noonday. Acknowledge God in the beginning. Spend some time alone with God and pray don't despise the day of small things everything begins that way everything begins that way Don't despise the day of small things. And I hope in this little song that I've written based on Scripture, you might be encouraged and exhorted today not to give up because things start out small. Everything starts out that way. In the will of God, we begin that way. I'm Pastor Brad Winnegar. This is from The Shepherd to the Sheep. And I'm reading to you from the prophecy book, in the minor prophets known as Zechariah. Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 10 says, For who hath despised the day of small things? For they shall rejoice. You see, just hang in there. They shall rejoice and shall see the plummet in the hand of Zerubbabel with those seven. They are the eyes of the Lord which run to and fro through the whole earth. God sees things perfectly. We see things uh, through a glass darkly. We see things in a limited fashion. We only see those things that we're able to perceive. And then what God reveals to us in addition to what our perceptive senses pick up on. And so God is going to say this to us. Don't despise the fact that you're starting out small. Don't, don't despise the fact that you're making a very simple, basic attempt to witness and win souls. You're starting out uh, and you're giving the best you can, but eventually you'll be able to increase your giving to God. Uh, you're starting out uh, maybe uh, just at a crawl in your service for the Lord, and, and, and you're just anxious to get moving. Don't be over-anxious. Let the Lord work in and through you. That's what this is all about. I'm encouraging every believer in Jesus Christ to be patient and allow the Lord to work in and through your life until He brings you to maturity in one area or another, and you're able to serve Him effectively. Don't give up. Just keep on going. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Father, we thank You for these good efforts that are being made, first efforts by new believers and those that have just gotten on fire and want to start serving You. Lord, I pray that You'll help us now as we begin, and little by little we're going to see advances and improvements, and we'll thank You and we'll praise You and give You the glory Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, I pray for those that might not even be saved. With heads bowed and eyes closed, 
Let me talk to you for just a moment. Do you know that you're saved? Are you positive beyond any doubt? If you're not, then right now, won't you pray with me a simple prayer from your heart? Let's pray to Jesus and say, Dear Jesus, I admit I'm lost and I need a Savior. I want you to come in my heart and wash me clean, make me brand new inside, save my soul, be my personal Savior, and take me to heaven when I die. And if you prayed that prayer, I want you to get in touch and let us know that you've prayed to receive Jesus as Savior. We'd love to help you. And those of you that are soul winners, I want you to keep on going full steam. Let's bring as many lost souls to the Master as we possibly can today and every day. And then for those that are having hard times, difficulties, illnesses, perhaps you're grieving the loss of somebody, I, I want to pray for you right now. Lord, I pray that you'll encourage, lift up the hearts of those that are down, help them to know that there's going to be a better day. Things are going to get better. We'll thank you and we'll praise you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So don't despise. Don't despise the day of small things. Everything begins that way. We must all start to crawl before we walk. And sunrise always comes before noonday. Acknowledge God in the beginning. Spend some time alone with God and pray. Don't despise the day of small things. Everything begins that way. Everything begins that way. Don't despise the day of small things. God bless you today. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.